everyone, I'm Amanda DuPont. Every year, the Toronto Maple Leafs hold a week-long camp for their top prospects, consisting of on-ice sessions as well as character development seminars. With the help of Matt Nichol, Paul Dennis, and Dallas Eakins, these players hope to leave here both physically and mentally stronger. Guys were a little nervous at the start, and uh, we weren't real sharp. A lot of guys haven't been skating for, uh, I guess, since the end of the season. So uh, it was kind of more just uh, getting your legs under you and kind of uh, catch your wind out there. So uh, legs feel a little bit rubbery right now. It's a pretty tough skate, but uh, it's finally good to get her over. How nervous were you yourself? I wasn't too bad at all. It was just uh, practice out there and just trying to, like I said, you haven't skated in a while. So um, no, I just had fun out there, and uh, it's no different than any other camp. And no, I just come here having fun and getting to know the guys. Things you guys are going to do off the ice is media relations, and this market is incredible for media. I mean, how important do you think that's going to be? Well, I think it's a, a huge part of it. Obviously, trying to uh, you know come familiar with the media, but uh, no, I, I'm learning as I'm going here, and I'm you know become a little bit more comfortable with it. And um, I'm sure I'll, I'll see more uh, as I get uh, closer to I guess becoming a leaf. Luke, if you could just talk about uh, what it was like for you, the feeling you went through uh, when you were drafted by a team like Toronto. Yeah, it was unbelievable. Uh, obviously, they made the trade up there, and even at that point, I still didn't really know who they're going to select because there's lots of good players uh, still available. And to hear your name called uh, is the greatest feeling I've ever really experienced, uh, you know, hockey-wise. It's pretty cool, and to finally uh, be here and come to camp. It's it's uh, pretty cool to, to be experiencing right now. For those of you who haven't had the chance uh, to see you play, talk about your style of game a little bit. I think I'm just uh, just a defenseman who kind of keeps things simple out there and tries to make good first passes and, and play physical when I can. A lot of uh, on-ice sessions this week as well as, as well as character development seminars and things like that. What do you hope to leave after at the end of this week with? Well, I just uh, become familiar with the Leafs organization and get to know everyone, uh, all the staff, and, and just uh, get to know the other prospects out here. I think that's a big part of it. you got to get to know, uh, I guess, maybe some guys you could be playing with in the future. And uh, It's just a good time to bond together and then come see Toronto and, and check out... Uh, uh, I guess the rink and, and the practice facility and, and all that comes along with it. Joel, talk a little bit about your style of play for the people who don't know you. I'm an all-around player. Uh, I'm power forward. To uh, I like to hit. Uh, I'm strong on the board. Have a good shot and a good uh, skating too. Talk about what you were feeling when you got drafted by the Leafs uh, this past June. I was very happy. Uh, it's a little bit, uh, you know. I want to be drafted in first two round, but first third round, but it's all right. Uh, Toronto is a good town, good hockey town, good fan. I like that. Now a lot of talk is about the media in Toronto. You're going to be learning about that in a seminar this week. Is it overwhelming for you? Do you think you'll be able to deal with that? Uh, with the media. Yeah, yeah, it's all right. I don't care about that. Uh, in Chuku in Chukudmi, it's a it's a big hockey hockey town too. Uh, a lot of media, but uh, it's okay. I won't. No, it's, it's all right. Now, at the end of the week, uh, when everything's finished here, what do you hope to have learned? Uh, learn, learn my English, how, how to practice uh, off ice and on the ice. Dale, you're kind of a veteran at the Prospects Camp. You've been here before. Uh, what's the first day like been for you? Uh, you know, it's just like trying to get the uh, rest out of your uh, legs and your hands going out there and getting a couple drills into you, and then you feel, you feel great after. Uh, what do you hope to take out of this week when it's all said and done? Uh, just learning, you know, learning the pro game and pro life like I've been doing the last uh, year or so uh, in the training camp and then the prospects camp. Just learning how to, to act and be a pro hockey player. Talk a little bit about your style of game and uh, what you can improve on and what your strengths are. Uh, I mean, I can uh, improve every day. I can, right now I'm just trying to get a lot faster and stronger with my off-ice workouts and uh, my on-ice workouts. So. I mean, uh, my, as a player, I think I use my speed and my shot down the wing, and things I can improve on are basically everything to try to become a pro player. Because I'm not the tallest guy out there, so I gotta try to improve my low center of gravity so I don't get knocked off the puck by the big defenseman. Now, the Leafs have gone through a lot of changes this summer. I'm sure you've heard of them. Is it, what's that like for you to be part of this organization that's going through those changes? I mean, it's a great thing for any young player in this organization to be a 
to see what's going on. You know, they're trying to give younger players a better chance. So hopefully uh, I can get that opportunity in the next couple of years and uh, take the best out of it. Is it overwhelming at all? It's a prospects camp, but it's been in the newspaper. You already have media uh, vying for your attention. Is it overwhelming? How do you deal with that? Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's pretty overwhelming, especially being uh, in your hometown, too, in Mississauga, not too far away from Toronto. So, I mean, uh, being a local boy and having all this media that you've seen growing up uh, asking you questions, it's, uh, yeah, it's pretty overwhelming. That wraps it up for day one of the Prospects Camp on Ice Session here at Lakeshore Lions Arena. For more information and continuing coverage of the camp, keep logging on to MapleEast.com.